you should never ever leave home with your Wi-Fi settings still switched on on your cell phone. Let me show you why. All this info is from people around me who didn't disable the Wi-Fi on their phone. Their phone is just leaking information through the way that Wi-Fi is set up on the phone and for me to scoop up and take advantage of. I'm going to let this run for about 10 more minutes. Let's see how many people's information we can get. And in the meantime, let me show you how you can protect yourself so you don't land up on my list. Most of us leave our Wi-Fi on because we love the fact that the moment we walk into our house, our phones automatically connect. Convenient? Yes. Dangerous? Oh yes. And here is why. Our phones keeps a list of all the Wi-Fi networks that we've ever connected to along with the password. This list is called the Preferred Network List or PNL for short. So the next time you hang out at a mate's house or you grab coffee from your local coffee shop, your phone automatically recognizes that you've been there before and will connect without even asking you. Depending on your phone, it may use either a passive or an active discovery to do this. With passive discovery, your phone is in listening mode. It is listening for any Wi-Fi access points broadcasting the SSID name. When it hears a Wi-Fi name, it looks it up on the preferred network list that it has stored on your phone to see if you've ever connected with this Wi-Fi. If it finds a match, it connects to it. With active discovery, your phone is doing something worse. It is constantly broadcasting the entire list that you have saved on your phone to see if any of those Wi-Fi networks are within range. If an access point or a router is within range and it's on the list, it will basically say, hey phone, I hear you've been looking for me, you find me, let's connect. And your phone basically makes that connection. Now I will say that some phones have actually stopped sending out the entire list because they finally figured out that it's not the smartest thing to do. Instead, what they do is send out a request probe looking for Wi-Fi's to connect to. It's like your phone constantly asking, hey, if you're a Wi-Fi and you can hear me, what's your name? When the router or the access points hears these probe requests, then they reply with their Wi-Fi name. Only then does the phone look it up in the PNL list, and if it's there, again it connects. And here is why this is bad. What would happen if I downloaded a list of commonly used Wi-Fi names and perhaps created those as fake Wi-Fi hotspots? You know, like the same names that are probably going to be on your list? Your phone will think that this is the same Wi-Fi that it has listed and will connect to me. I could then do a man in the middle attack when then capture all the data from your phone. Anything that isn't encrypted, I could simply read. I would also be able to capture cookies and certificates and handshakes and other stuff that can just be scraped off the phone. Remember that for many apps on your devices that are constantly looking for updates or trying to connect to the main server, are you sure those are encrypted? I will also add that I can only do these for open networks like Starbucks or the airport or the hotel hotspot. You know, those kind of Wi-Fi's where you typically get a free connection, but then you gotta log in via a portal to get online. Now, besides being able to scrape info off your phone, this is also bad because if your phone is one of those that is still broadcasting the entire PNL, that is a lot of very useful information that you're simply giving away. Odds are pretty slim that other phones will have your home Wi-Fi and your local coffee shop and your gym and your work and the hotel that you stayed at last and, and, and. So now I have something that's unique and I'm able to track your phone. And guess what? It's not just hackers who are tracking you. Ever being into a shopping mall, not purchased anything and then only to receive a message or an email from that shop with a specific offer? No, it's not a coincidence and it's certainly not the usual my phone is listening to me kind of nonsense. Shopping malls have beacon trackers for both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. So if you walk into a shop or even buy a shop that has one of those beacon trackers and you have their app installed on your phone or you're part of their loyalty programs, your unique information kind of matches up and to some degree of certainty, they know that you were there. Now, thankfully, phones are randomizing your MAC address, which is basically the unique identifier for your phone. So that's why I say with some degree of accuracy. However, your phone is still broadcasting a whole bunch of personal information that makes your phone unique, so they kind of still can identify you. So what should you do? 
And I warn you, this is where I put my Android versus iPhone hat on. So firstly, you wanna clear the list of Wi-Fi networks you previously connected to. In Android, you can go into your Wi-Fi settings on your phone, you'll see your previously saved Wi-Fi names, simply open that up and click on forget on each one. Now you only wanna keep the very essential ones which are gonna reduce your exposure. Now, for some reason, this is not available on an iPhone. On an iPhone, you can't just go through the list, you can't even see the darn list. The only time you can see your other networks that you previously connected to is if you're in physically within range of those networks. Like, why is this a thing, Apple? Well, I guess for you guys, well, the only thing you can do is after you disconnect from a Wi-Fi, simply then choose to forget it. All right, secondly, you wanna switch off Wi-Fi when you're in public, that's obvious. On Android, you also have to disable Wi-Fi scanning, which continues to scan even when the Wi-Fi is off. Uh, I tried looking for something like that that's on an iPhone, I couldn't find one. If you know, well, leave it in the comments below. Thirdly, automation is super useful. There are phones that have rules or routine that are built in that you can automatically set to switch your Wi-Fi on or off when you leave or when you come back to a certain location. Use these rules. If your phone doesn't have these rules built in, there are a gazillion apps that you can download and essentially they'll do the same thing. Now fourthly, obviously use a VPN. Use a VPN, but make sure that it is enabled all the time. So many people have the VPN app installed on their phones, but the second the internet is slow, they switch off the VPN and kind of forget to switch it on again. If you use a VPN, you're gonna make yourself less of a target to both hackers and those trying to track you. It's only been 10 minutes and I've already got seven people's information. Now, of course, I didn't actually hack anybody's phone, but if I wanted to, there are seven people walking around the shopping mall, which are totally vulnerable and they don't even know it. So make sure you switch off your Wi-Fi and don't get tracked. And speaking of tracking, check out this video over here and check out this video over here that YouTube thinks you should watch. Hit the head down here to subscribe and I'll see you in this video or this video or I'll see you in both. Let's go.